this is the galaxy cluster image. Um, let me walk you through what's happening here. So at the center here is a giant cluster of galaxies. So you can see some really bright, uh, fuzzy uh, elliptical galaxies, the white ones here, um, and then some galaxies that are probably kind of associated with that cluster around it. Uh, that's in the foreground, um, and so that's uh, sort of between us and a lot of what else we're seeing in this image. Now, somewhere behind uh, those galaxies are some kind of pinkish-reddish galaxies, and the light from those is distorted, and we can see them as these arcs that come across here, and these little, little smudges um, all around, and you can kind of tell that there's a sort of circular... Uh, pattern to these smudges, right? And what's happening is that the the gravity of this cluster of galaxies is bending space around it like a lens, um, uh, and just distorting the uh, the space that we're looking through. And so the light is traveling to us in a curved way. And and because it's not a sort of perfect sphere, it it, it breaks up some of the images. So. Like this, this smudge here, it looks to me, and I'm not certain about this, but it looks to me like this here and this here, these are the same galaxy and they're kind of imaged twice. Uh, so you see two different uh, versions of it um, stretched out like this. And then over here, again, you have two images of the same galaxy and you can see how they're kind of stretched out. Those actually might be th that galaxy. Those might be the same galaxy. I'm not sure. I don't, um, we'd have to look at the spectra of the galaxies to, to really know. Um, but probably several of these uh, images are images of the same galaxy uh, seen more than once uh, and the, with the light distorted and stretched out. So uh, it's a gravitational lensing system. And the amazing thing about gravitational lensing systems is that they can show you things that are behind what you're looking at because the light is stretching all the way, all the way around. And, um, and uh, th that also magnifies uh, those background images. So some of these little smudges that we're seeing here um, are probably uh, galaxies that are so distant that their light would just be so dim that it would be really, really hard to see them. But because they're magnified, uh, we can actually see them more clearly and can see what's going on in these very, very distant galaxies. So gravitational lenses are one of the ways that we see some of the most distant galaxies in the universe. So that's kind of what's going on in the central regions here. Um, the whole rest of this image is amazing, though, because uh, it, it's essentially a, a very deep field image. And we, we've had deep field images before from the Hubble Space Telescope that have, you know, kind of almost as many galaxies as this. Or I mean, the Hubble Extreme Deep Field had, I think, 10,000 galaxies. I think this, this one probably has a similar number. But that image took 10 days of the Hubble Space Telescope staring at one spot. And this image was apparently taken in one day. <laughs> so one day of the JWST looking at uh, into the into the universe um, has found you know as many galaxies and and you can see um, like the there are a few stars here so this this thing here this really bright thing with the with the um, diffraction spikes is probably a star and and probably all the all the really all the things you see with the spikes on them, those are probably stars. I mean, they they could be really bright nearby galaxies. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that those are stars. Uh, everything that doesn't have diffraction spikes on it is is a, a galaxy. <laughs> everything that doesn't have really like prominent spikes on it is a galaxy, is a distant galaxy in the universe. I mean, you can see every little smudge here is a galaxy, and that means it's a collection of millions or billions of stars and some of these i mean i don't know how how far all of these are but but um from what they said in the press conference and and from what i know of the capabilities of this telescope some of these things are from the first you know few million year, or few hundred million years of the universe so looking back almost to the beginning of when galaxies formed in the cosmos and and some of the things that are gravitationally lensed might be kind of the first generation of galaxies um so I'm, I'm really eager <laughs> to see the, the analysis of this by professional astronomers who deal with data, you know, with, with spectra and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, just like zooming in on this picture, you know, uh, the, the detail in this is just astonishing. I mean, we're going to be able to learn so much about some of the earliest galaxies in the universe just by looking at this picture, like not even... 
you know, not even whatever else is coming, but like, you know, looking at these gravitationally lens systems here and you can see all of these little smudges, um, all of those are going to be telling us something about the, some of the most distant galaxies in the universe. And then, you know, we've got, I mean, just an incredible, just an incredible haul of, of very distant galaxies. So one of the, one of the things that uh, I've been told about James Webb and why it's the, the, this telescope, JWC and why it's so special is that uh, it's able to see a population of galaxies that, um, you know, happened in the very, very early universe where the Hubble Space Telescope was able to see some of the brightest galaxies in the, in the first few hundred million years of the universe. But this telescope is going to see like ordinary galaxies in that time. So it's going to be able to give us a, a sample of, so just what, the universe looked like if you were there um, in the first few hundred million years, if you were looking around and didn't have, you weren't looking at just the brightest things out there. Um, and I, I suspect that when we dig into some of these uh, really faint smudges in this, in this image, we're going to be seeing some ordinary galaxies. I mean, I, I just keep looking at this and I keep seeing more amazing things like this, this here, <laughs> this, this looks like something that was lensed by that galaxy right there. Right. So, so this is some distant galaxy that, probably was an ordinary shape and it's been lensed out to this this weird sort of sausagey thing. Um, this smudge here is probably a lensed image. It's it's a line of little dots. I'm guessing that's a lensed image um, of uh, of some kind of uh, some kind of galaxy with uh, with a few kind of nodes of light in it. Um, you know, so much of this is is gonna be just a treasure trove for astronomers. Um, when they when they're able to to analyze the you know the um, the details of this picture, so I'm really excited about uh, about that. What we're going to learn from it, and uh, meanwhile, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stare at this for a little while longer. I think. <laughs>